Hello everyone. I just wanted to get on here this morning and just say good morning. I know it's not really morning for most of us. It feels like that. The outside weather is rainy and windy and we have some storm warming mornings coming and I've just been really nestling in my house most of the day. So um, I've done a lot of self-care. I've watched a couple really wonderful meditation videos and I'm part of this summit right now that's just a bunch of amazing women from all over the world and it's really reminding me and sparking my interest to come back in and trust myself and my own experience and put down that need to control a little bit and just kind of go inward and just be. And I want to invite you to do that with me this morning. So I am on my floor. I cleaned my room yesterday and I vacuumed it this morning. So uh, it feels really nice to have this space. Um, a lot, a lot of space, actually. I think I might even be able to do some yoga. Oh, feels good to have some space. So I just invite you to be here with me today. Uh, find your own space. You can sit on the floor, you can stand up, you can do whatever feels comfortable. Um, you may be sitting at a desk, wherever your computer is. I happen to have a laptop who a wonderful friend of mine let me borrow slash use slash possibly have. Um, and I'm grateful, really grateful for that, because my new business would have definitely struggled without it. So I just want to say thanks to the universe for this wonderful piece of technology that I have that's allowing me to reach out to the world and to the person who gave it to me. It seems like such a simple thing, but it's not. So welcome. Welcome, wherever you're sitting, wherever you are, whatever mood you're in, whatever struggles you're having today, whatever blessings you're experiencing today, welcome. My name is Michelle Meany. I am... I'm Michelle Meany. I have a lot of roles. I work as a licensed mental health counselor, and I'm a mom sister, I'm a niece, I'm a granddaughter, I'm, I'm all, all those things. Uh, right now I just want to be Michelle, human, and share that space with you. So I invite you to just get in your body however you feel comfortable. Move it around a little bit, move your limbs, look directions you don't normally look, stretch spaces you may or may not normally stretch, and just allow yourself to just be. If you're a woman, just embrace just being here right now, present in your body, however you show up, however you show up. Okay? If you're a man, I invite you to do the same thing. Notice what's going on in your body. Notice where your body, your perception of your body meets, meets some of society's perceptions of what a body, quote, should look like. And notice if there's insecurities in there that kind of meet on that line in the middle for everyone. So I welcome, I welcome women and celebrate all of you. I welcome the men and appreciate you for being here, willing to learn more about a woman and an experience that we can share together. Thank you. So I just invite you, I'm not gonna play any music but I just imagine some music playing and I invite you to just move your body. Move it however it feels like you want to move it. And if you don't want to move it, notice that resistance. Notice where it is. Notice if it's a fear. Notice if doing this in front of the camera feels odd or even if you're not in front of the camera, maybe you're just watching this. And notice the judgments that you're giving yourself. Notice that the judgments that generations of society and biases have given you right now in this space with your body. Um, I invite you to look in the mirror if possible, maybe after we do this, and do, do movements in the mirror. Do movements in the mirror, however weird you may feel. Just, I invite you to be. Be in that space of feeling who you are in your body. 
And no matter where you start, it's okay. If you're starting with a lot of insecurities and judgments, that's okay. I know I'll just share a little bit about my story. Back when I was younger, I could pick apart every part of my body. I would look at my eyebrows or my eyelashes or my nose or my lips, uh, my ears, my breasts, my legs, my nails. I would pick apart all of these individual pieces of myself. And it wasn't until I really learned how to get in my body, feel my body, and feel my power in my body that I started to put together these little pieces into a whole. And all of these I'm going to call them perfectly flawed pieces that came together to create this whole. And that's me. That's Michelle. That's what I bring you today, is this whole. And I like the, the perfectly flawed, because for the most part now, I actually kind of on a daily, I can recognize my growth over the years of my insecurities when it comes to my body. and. But sometimes I get caught back in the old ways of thinking and I have to remind myself, whoa, 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 wait a minute. And usually when I get caught back in those spaces, it's when I'm back to looking at my individual parts and with, with judgment, not looking at them with curiosity or kindness or love, but looking at those individual parts with judgment. So if you find yourself looking too close at individual parts of your body and you're finding judgment and you're struggling with shifting that judgment to curiosity or kindness or love, I invite you to step back. Step back from that microscopic view. Step back from looking so close at those individual pieces. I mean, even physically, you can even move back. Move back. And look farther away. And that's okay. Wherever you need to start. And you can come closer if you feel more comfortable, if you feel like you want to look a little closer. Just Notice what comes up for you as you shift the spaces of your body, as you shift how you're showing up physically. And even now. So take a breath. Let it out really slow. And notice on that exhale, notice just your parasympathetic nervous system just relaxing. Let's take another breath. And push out. On that out breath, push out. Let your belly go out. Let it push out. And just try not to look at it with judgment. Or here, I'll scoot back. And I'll do it too. Like, it's okay to push your belly out. It's okay. Breathe in. Hold. Hold and out. We're going to breathe out really slow. All the way. And notice my belly is pushing, pushing out. Look out, out breath. All the way out. However you show up today is exactly how you need to be. And it's okay. And it's celebrated. So that's why we're here. We're celebrating your space. We're celebrating your body. We're celebrating exactly where you're at in your body right now. If you have judgment, we're going to celebrate that too. Okay? Right now is, is day one. Right now is moment one. We're getting comfortable. We're trying new things. We're going to feel that uncomfortable feeling because we're doing something different. I don't know how often you do this, but um, if it's something different than you normally do in your daily practice, it's going to feel weird. It's going to, and maybe you'll have some judgments of me, or maybe what'll come up is some resistance, or maybe you're not open to it at all, and you're ready to change the channel. And if, if that's where you're at, I, I'm grateful that you didn't. I'm grateful that you're here, and that you pushed yourself just a little bit. And if it's okay if you do in the next moment, whatever you do, okay? And as we watch our own behaviors, and we look at our own experience, and we feel it in our body, then we can start to look at it through a lens of non-judgmental curiosity, okay? We may not be there yet. You may not be there yet. That's okay. That's okay. But when we shift our experience to curiosity, 
then we are inviting ourselves to dig a little deeper and to wonder about our own experience and to let that judgment, maybe it's there, but maybe we can invite it to step aside and let the curiosity step forward. Right. So let's just take a couple more minutes feeling in our body and being in our body and just moving. Moving however you want to move, whatever feels right to you. Notice any creaks or cracks that your body is going through. I had one right there. You can mirror my moves if you want. You can play with some of your own. Arch your back. So once you've kind of got the stretchy moves or the flowy moves, once you've got a little bit of that energy in your body, so you feel, you feel it, you feel it, I'm going to invite you to move into a space of like a little bit of a nervous system. Let's get a little bit more energy. So I'm going to invite us to shake a little bit, like let your arms hang, do a shake. We're kind of working, I call it a nervous system reset. We don't do it enough. And I, don't, I heard this somewhere, but okay, I don't have a source for you, but animals, they do it. They have to shake. You'll see animals, like have you ever seen a deer or a bunny or, or a bird? Like you'll see a bird just completely shake and it gets, yeah, it's off, often you see it when there's ringing or they're getting the wet off of them, but they do it at other times too. And they're, they're resetting their nervous system. They're shaking, resetting their nervous system. And it's, it's a primal response. You don't think about it. But humans let their judgments and their fears and insecurities get in the way. We get embarrassed. But we need it too. We need the nervous system resets. We need to move our body because our body is where trauma is stored. Our body is, our nervous system is where a lot of our experiences are stored. And moving it, getting to know it, getting to feel it, it can be really scary, especially those of us who have struggled with some physical trauma, um, sexual trauma, relational trauma. Like there's, there's various traumas that can make this process really feel unsafe. And that's why we want to start slow. We want to just start with curiosity and notice where we're at. But I just invite you to move. Move with me. Be with me. This one's fun to do with music. <clears throat> so notice there's a little bit of a bounce. Because it helps reset, clear up, and really just move some things through your nervous system. Now, you, there's no right or wrong. Like, you don't have to be an awesome dancer to do this. You don't really have to be skilled at all. You just are learning to trust your body, trust your movements, and just doing the thing. And part of it is being willing to look a little silly, be a little silly. My mom texted me last night around 10.30. It's kind of late for her. And she's like, Ma, Michelle, I really, really miss dancing. Because there's not a lot of places to go dancing like where we used to, what we used to do. But that's, we used to dance and it would get our nervous system moving. And I think that was one of the things that came with some of the COVID. The COVID era, I will call it, where a lot of these things aren't happening anymore. So we have to find ways to move our own nervous system. All right, we're going to do this just for a little bit longer. Just 
kind of bring it back to a little balance. Maybe give yourself a hug. And squeeze. You can do this to soothe your nervous system as well when you're stressed. If there's no one around to hug, you can hug yourself. And you're going to squeeze and release. Now I invite you to just do some gentle touches. Gentle touches. Sit on your face, your neck, wherever you want to, whatever feels right. Just let, let you're stimulating your nervous system and you're soothing it. It's okay to do this stuff with yourself. It's okay to soothe yourself. Sometimes we think if we don't have someone doing this, then we can't have it. And we can. It's wonderful to do with another as well. If you have someone who can do this with you or who wants to do this with you. All right. I invite you to put your hand right here on your chest or on your heart. Take a couple breaths. And just be with your body. Notice what came up for you, what's coming up for you, and what's alive. Are there some areas in your body that feel tense, that feel energized? Just notice. You feel the love right here. You're connecting your heart with your body in this whole space. They all work together. Thank you for joining me. I hope you both have a wonderful day. Hope you all have a wonderful day. See you next time.